Hey, Water Signs, and welcome to your weekly love reading. This is for the week of the 16th through the 23rd of October. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So I'll go ahead and get you guys pointed down here. And beautiful ones of love and light. What messages do you have for our Water Signs? Whoa, way too many messages. <laughs> All right, let's try this one. Thank you. All right. Unrequited love. Give your relationship a chance. And separation. The person you're connecting to is soulmate, true love. And very soon. And then I will pull your outcome cards here in just one second. So, um, water signs, you guys are dealing with um, somebody in your energy. Those three flipped. Uh, somebody in your... Jeez. You're dealing with somebody in um, your energy that is really causing you to question what the hell is going on. You have a choice to make whether to stay here where um, somebody is taking advantage of you and there's no longer the love there that's needed to make this relationship last or whether to move forward. Um, this is somebody that you have children with. Um, or somebody that you've known since your childhood. You're kind of stuck in the memories right now of, of the good old days. But um, they are wanting you to be reminded of the toxicity of this relationship. And, um, and that sometimes our memories uh, are made to be just a little bit better because of the person we want them to be. Um, but there's a lot of toxic energy here. There could be addictions as well. But, um, but it's time to break free from those chains. It's time to let that unrequited love go because you do deserve love. Um, there is somebody in your um, energy that is coming uh, towards you very soon. This is an earth sign. Uh, very stable, very grounded, very loving person. Um, this is somebody that you are in separation with. This is somebody that you have had a relationship with, possibly um, a third-party relationship between you, this person um, that you are committed to, and then this uh, third party, obviously. But uh, you're constantly thinking about that other person, that earth sign or water sign as yourself. But it's time to give this relationship a chance. It's time to release this toxic energy and um, begin to heal yourself and to face the fear of leaving behind this person and going after what you truly deserve, following your heart um, and moving towards somebody uh, that is better, well-suited for you. I am also getting that uh, in the... In the when the new moon goes into Scorpio is when um, you will be moving forward or or finding the the strength and courage to break away from this toxic relationship. Um, you are like I said in separation. Uh, you guys, yeah, you are in separation from your soulmate, from this person that uh, that you can't stop thinking about. Let me see if there's any other messages for that one. Any other messages for separation for water signs? Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, it's You are in separation. It is time to separate from the person you are in a commitment with. to the From a person that um, is toxic for you. Uh, it's time to separate your energy from them. You are currently in a separation with your soulmate, but that is going to come to a commitment very soon. 
uh, could be a Taurus because you have Earth sign here and the Tor in Hierophant, which is uh, represented by Taurus. Also, um, yeah, yep. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that for just one. Um, the two that just fell out with that as well. Seven of Swords. This is somebody that you are sneaking around with. Um, it's time to uh, even out the karmic scales. Allow this divorce or what have you to find the strength and courage to get a divorce from this toxic energy or a separation from if it's just in um, a commitment and not a legal marriage. Your person and how they feel about you. Um, this is your soulmate. They feel you are their soulmate. And it's been clarified by the King of Cups. Their love for you is overflowing. Their love for you is unwavering. Um, and they know the connection between the two of you is special. Why is true love here? Ooh. Oh, nice. And why is very soon here? So, um, oh my goodness. So yeah, this is a romance of a lifetime and they know it. That is why they are waiting for you. That is why they are currently, um, waiting for the separation to end because they know that new beginnings are on the horizon with the ace of cups. They know that their love for you is undying. Um, they, their three clarifying cards is the king of cups, the ace of cups and the 10 of cups. If you have to question your love or their love for you, water signs, you are silly because they know this is true love. They know you're their soulmate and they will very soon clearly decide that they want you. They want this 10 of cups. They want what you have to give them. Um, they want you to leave their your partner and come to them or they are clearly deciding to leave a partner and you're the one waiting water science. So if they have a, um, if, if you're the one that is waiting for them to leave a partner, then the toxic energy in this first set of cards is your attachment is your need for this person. It's time to let that go. You guys are in separation and they are going to be leaving a partner to follow their heart, to give that 10 of cups. That's if you're the one waiting for them, water signs. If they're the one waiting for you, then it's it's the first situation that I that I explained. Your guys' outcome for the week is healing family issues and free yourself. I just did uh, Scorpio's channel messages and I kept getting family issues in there too. So um, very important. Um, it's time to forgive your parents for any hurt. I talked about parents addictions too, as well. And it came out with a free yourself card. So, um, your, but your love life is going to benefit when you heal family issues. Um, whether that is with your parents, your siblings, your extended family, or, um, your own children. Yeah. This is something that caused you a lot of heartache in the past. A lot of emotional breaking, um, it's time to heal from that. It's time to free yourself from the self-limiting regulations that this uh, broken family relationship is causing your current relationship. Um, you are not your parents is what I just heard. Yeah. Free yourself from this heartache, from this depression, from this emotional uh, hurt that was caused by somebody in your family. Um, this is These two cards are are not even connected to the person that you are waiting on or that is waiting for you. This strictly has to do with you healing your past hurts of your childhood, your childhood hurts. Um, it's time to explore those and to allow them to come to surface so you can, can so you can heal from them. And you will this week um, begin that process. Um, this is most definitely a soulmate as well. Um, anytime I get a king and queen of the same suit in a reading, um, it is life partners. It is meant to be. It is destiny. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture because you guys will be together a lifetime with the king of, and queen of wands. Um, and then you have the eight of pentacles. So um, the two of you will work very hard at a beautiful life. Um, 
and it'll be filled with abundance and passion and love and just an admiration for each other that'll be unlike any other. So by the end of the week, I see you expressing your love and, um, and this relationship coming into fruition down the road. You guys are still needing to heal, 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 heal some family issues to heal um, broken relationships of the past. Um, in this time of separation, it is time to do some healing because very soon this person will be returning to you or you to them and you can begin this beautiful new life together. But you have to heal before you before that can happen. So I'm sending you all the healing, love, and light that I possibly can from the universe to you. So I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time. God bless.